Microwave imaging is a science which has been evolved from older detecting slash locating techniques. For example, radar in order to evaluate hidden or embedded objects in a structure or media using electromagnetic EM waves in microwave regime. That is, tilde 300 megahertz 300 gigahertz. Microwave imaging techniques can be classified as either quantitative or qualitative. Quantitative imaging techniques are also known as inverse scattering methods. Give the electrical, that is, electrical and magnetic property distribution and geometrical parameters, that is, shape, size and location of an imaged object by solving a nonlinear inverse problem. The nonlinear inverse problem is converted into a linear inverse problem, that is, X equals B where and B are known and X or image is unknown by using Born or distorted Born approximations. Despite the fact that direct matrix inversion methods can be invoked to solve the inversion problem, this will be so costly when the size of the problem is so big that is, when it is a very dense and big matrix. To overcome this problem, direct inversion is replaced with iterative solvers. Techniques in this class are called forward iterative methods which are usually time-consuming. On the other hand, qualitative microwave imaging methods calculate a qualitative profile which is called as reflectivity function or qualitative image to represent the hidden object. These techniques use approximations to simplify the imaging problem and then they use backpropagation also called time reversal, phase compensation, or back migration to reconstruct the unknown image profile. Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, Ground Penetrating Radar GPR, and Frequency Wave Number Migration Algorithm are some of the most popular qualitative microwave imaging methods. In general, a microwave imaging system has two parts, namely, hardware and software or post-processing. The hardware part is responsible to collect data from the sample under test. A transmitter antenna sends EM waves towards sample under test, for example, human body for medical imaging. If the sample is made of only homogeneous material which extends to infinity, theoretically no EM wave will be reflected. Introduction of any anomaly which has a different properties, that is, Electrical slash magnetic in comparison with the surrendering homogeneous medium may reflect a portion of EM wave. The bigger the difference between the properties of the anomaly and the surrounding medium is, the stronger the reflected wave will be. This reflection will be collected and measured by the same antenna in monostatic case or a different receiver antenna in bistatic case. To increase cross-range resolution of the imaging system, Several antennas should be distributed over an area which is called sampling area with a spacing less than the operating wavelength. However, by having several antennas placed close to each other, the mutual coupling between antennas may degrade the accuracy of the collected signals. Moreover, transmitter and receiver system will become very complex. To address these problems, one single scanning antenna is used instead of several antennas. Later, when the antenna finishes scanning the entire sampling area, one can put together collected data all over the sampling area and process them together, simultaneously. In fact, a synthetic virtual aperture is produced by moving the antenna similar to synthetic aperture radar principle. Later, the collected data, which is sometimes referred to as raw data, is fed into the software for processing. Based on applied processing algorithm, microwave imaging techniques can be categorized as quantitative and qualitative. Microwave imaging has been used in a variety of applications such as, non-destructive testing and evaluation, NDT and e, medical imaging, concealed weapon detection at security checkpoints, structural health monitoring, and through-the-wall imaging. Some of the recent applications of microwave imaging for NDT and E can be listed as A. Disbomb detection in strengthened concrete bridge members retrofitted with carbon fiber reinforced CFRP composite laminates B. Corrosion and precursor pitting detection in painted aluminum and steel substrates C. Flaw detection and spray on foam insulation and the acreage heat tiles of the space shuttle 
Microwave imaging for medical applications is also becoming of more interest. The dielectric properties of malignant tissue change significantly in comparison with the properties of normal tissue, for example, breast tissue. This difference translates into a contrast which can be detected by microwave imaging methods. As one example, there are several research groups all around the world working on developing efficient microwave imaging techniques for early detection of breast cancer. Aging of infrastructure is becoming a serious problem worldwide. For example, in reinforced concrete structures, corrosion of their steel reinforcements is the main cause of their deterioration. In U.S. alone, repair and maintenance cost due to such corrosion is about $276 billion per year. Recently, microwave imaging has shown great potential to be used for structural health monitoring. Lower frequency microwaves, for example, less than 10 GHz, can easily penetrate through concrete and reach objects of interest such as reinforcement bars, rebars. If there is any rust on the rebar, since rust reflects less EM waves in comparison with sound metal, the microwave imaging method can distinguish between rebars with and without rust or corrosion. Microwave imaging also can be used to detect any embedded anomaly inside concrete, for example, crack or air void.